so welcome back to my channel here this is your girl sassy dassy and in this video i'm gonna give you another story time this story time is gonna be pertaining to whenever i was in kindergarten and i leaned back and i bust my head open in the back <laughs> so before we actually get into this video if you haven't already did so please make sure you like comment and subscribe if you're watching this video why haven't you already subscribed this channel is lit this channel is going to be doing big things on youtube also turn on your post notifications so you can get alerted whenever i drop another video so let's just get into this story time so the setting of course is kindergarten and let me just kind of rewind back also um now, whenever I was a little girl, I used to have tons of hair. I still have a lot of hair right here. Check me out. Don't I look cute? Ow. But I used to have even more hair than I have right now. Now, my mom used to put, like, my hair in all those little crazy ponytails with the balls in those barrettes. Now, let's just put a pin in that because that's going to be really important whenever we get into the story. So, again, kindergarten is the setting. Now, whenever I was little and even... Right now, I have a bad habit and still have a bad habit of leaning back in my chair. It's like when you lean back, you catch yourself and you go forward. My mom used to tell me to stop countless times. The teacher used to tell my mom that I did it all the time in class. And she was worried that I was going to end up hurting myself. So this particular day in kindergarten, I want to say it was like a Tuesday. So let's just kind of set the tone for kindergarten, the room. So right when you walk into the door, you have like an area where the carpet was for like story times and when we watch movies and things of that nature. Then where the tables were, it was just like the little small tables with the chairs around. That was on like that towel type floor. You know what I'm talking about? Like that glossy, real shiny towel like floor. And then we kind of had like a bathroom, of course, because you know, we're trying to get our independence on over there in the corner. So where I was sitting was I was sitting on this side of the table and behind me there was like a row of books and toys and stuffed animals and all that type of stuff for learning. So this one particular day I was doing what I do because you know I'm a pro Lena. I was leaning back, leaning back, leaning back and I actually... I don't know if it was just God saying you need to stop this so I'm gonna make something happen type situation but I fell. But the problem of the matter was it wasn't the fall that hurt me. No, it wasn't the floor that hurt me. Mm -mm. It was the fact that whenever I fell, one of my barrettes, the sharp end, I can tell you exactly what barrette it was. It was a hot pink dove barrette. They kind of had an edge going up here at the top, but the ends were super sharp. Okay, barrettes. I don't know what people was thinking about with the braids, with the sharp ends. Like, we didn't foul them down to make them look a little knoll or something, a little dull, because that sharp end almost took me out. Where well, I wouldn't even be here today telling this little story. But anyway, the barrette went into my scap. And, like, when I say a excision, about, like, this big. So, whenever I fell, I didn't realize what was actually going on until I looked down on the floor and I seen blood. And I was like, what happened? <laughs> and the barrette was still stuck in my head the whole entire time, okay? So we went to the nurse's station. They actually took the barrette out and just, I pretty much just put a bandage on the back of my head. And, you know, they did the protocol and everything like that. Now, mind you, two days, well, the day before, because this was a Tuesday, that Monday, I just got in trouble from my teacher who was telling me to stop um, leaning back in my chair. And, of course, I didn't listen because I was a kid. And, I again, I'm a pro leaner, okay? So, that next day, I fell back in the chair and I'm in the nurse's station and they called my mom and everything. And of course my mom is panicked. She doesn't know really what's going on because all the nurse will tell her was that Dominique had an accident. So my mom gets to the, to the school and everything, you know, she's panicked and everything. And she sees me there kind of with a bandage on the back of my head or whatever, whatever. And she asked the nurse, she was like, what happened? And the nurse was like, oh, she was leaning back. 
And when she fell and hit the floor, a piece of uh, her barrette went into her scap and everything like that. But she's fine. She may need a couple of stitches, this and that, but she'll be okay. My mom looked at the nurse and said, oh, okay. And I'm like, excuse me, just okay. Mother, I am damaged. Okay. I had a hole in the back of my head. Mom, I'm damaged. I'm going to need you to be a little bit more sad but my mom was just like okay she'll live because she was low-key kind of like mm, well i told you stop doing this your teacher told you stop doing this hopefully now you will stop doing this so like i said we went to the doctor i had to get probably like four or five stitches because like the incision was probably about this wide in the back of my head where the barrette went in and everything but then it kind of I don't, it, it went in at a weird angle and it was probably about this big in the back of my head. So again, I had to get a couple of stitches and everything like that. I think it was like four or five that I had to get. And they told me to take a couple of days off uh, from school to kind of let the, the stitches kind of get in place. And I think they were dissolvable ones. So I didn't have to go and get them removed. They just kind of dissolved on their own. But whenever I came back to school <laughs> and in my seat, they had me in one that didn't have no, it, it didn't didn't have a rocking effect at all, at all. I was like, they was like, well, if you haven't learned, you're going to learn today. You're not going to be rocking up in these seats and have another accident and everything. And I still, to this day, catch myself rocking in the back of my chairs and stuff like that. And oh my God, my oldest, who is his, he's six years old, he rocks in his chairs and I'd be like, no, no, no. No, no, no. Please get your lean to back ratio good because I can't have another incident because every time he leans back, I think about that day that I fell back up in my chair. And that's, I can still feel the incision in the back of my head. And it's still just something that me and my mom talk about and everything, you know, on occasion. She was like, girl, you remember you fell back in that seat at, at kindergarten and everything? And I'd be like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember that you didn't care low-key but you know she cared but I remember that she was just like okay maybe she'll kind of learn her lesson and everything like that but comment below if you had something strange that kind of happened whenever you were in kindergarten or even if you used to rock back up in your chairs too comment below um and tell me what happened and I would love to kind of read some of you guys comments and everything like that but that's all that I have for you guys it's just a little story time about the time that I was you know trying to be a pro lean and almost got taken out the game <laughs> but if you haven't already did so please make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel make sure when you subscribe you turn on your post notifications so you can get alerted whenever I do a another video and I will see you guys next time I hope you have a great rest of your day bye